Good morning. I'm Quinn. I'm Ian. I'm Eureka. I'm Sarah. I'm Dima. And today we're presenting Misty Mushroom. Every minute, one million plastic bottles are bought all around the world. If you combine this with the fact that it takes 450 years for a plastic bottle to decompose, the size of the plastic problem can easily be seen. Most plastic is used once and disposed. And even if you recycle your used plastic, only less than 25% of it is actually recycled. This plastic waste leads to pollution of water through microplastics and leaking of chemicals such as PET or BPA. This does not only affect the ocean and its organisms, it also affects us. This harms our drinking water supply and worsens the already harsh conditions for people living in third world countries. We hope to reduce the plastic wa waste and also have clean drinking water for all. Water pollution has become a major concern worldwide, especially in developing countries where around 3.2 million children die each year as a result of unsafe drinking water and poor sanitation. Non-biodegradable plastic bottles are blameworthy for a large part of this problem. Diseases such as cholera, intestinal worms, and diarrhea are caused by the contaminated water. Contamination of water not only means diseases, but the decrease in the amount of clean water available for use which holds devastating environmental, health, and economic consequences that disrupt a country's social and economic growth. Therefore, our goal is to undertake these global environmental issues by creating and distributing biodegradable bottles made of algae, mycelium, cornstarch, and to build an atmospheric water generator, which is a device that extracts water from the humid air to produce clean water. All right, so to understand our products, uh, we'll first need a little bit of a background on fungi. So fungi is a decomposer, meaning it can digest complex structures in nature, such as dead organisms, dead plants, etc. cetera. Um, and fungi releases these reproductive cells called spores. And these spores grow into this material called mycelium. So in the slide, you can see there's this mushroom plant, the white, uh, network of filaments below it that is mycelium and mycelium uh, functions as sort of like the roots of the mushroom where it um, because it gets nutrients and water for the mushroom and also uh, digests uh, dead material and turns it back into minerals um, so why is this important um, it's be um, because dead materials treated with mycelium, as it turns out, um, turn into this white paste of mycelium-coated particles. And um, what's cool about these particles and this paste is um, you can mold it into a variety of geometries. And once the mold uh, hardens, you've got this sturdy, hard material that um, can be used for a variety of applications, just like plastic. But unlike plastic, it only takes 180 days to um, completely uh, decompose, as opposed to plastic, which takes 450 years. Also, um, mycelium, um, when it's hardened, uh, is uh, non-toxic and fire-resistant naturally. So, as we said earlier, our main goal is to reduce plastic wastes while simultaneously improving clean water supply. And our first way of uh, tackling these problems is to design a water bottle made out of mycelium. So these mycelium bottles right there is uh, incredibly strong, but it also only takes 180 days to decompose, opposed to plastic bottles, which take 450 years. And here's a 3D model we 3D printed yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And these bottles can be thrown away in compost bins, but we would also have uh, our special bins in public areas so we could collect it, and so we could use it for our fog catching pyramids, which will be placed in deserts. So everyone has this misconception about deserts and how they're only dry and hot, but they also have a lot of fog, which can be collected for clean water. And to collect the fog in the desert, we designed these pyramids, which are made out of water collecting nets called uh, water collecting nylon nets called cloud fisher and uh, supporting structures that are made out of uh, recycled mycelium bottles. And here's like a video of how it works.
that. So, uh, so basically, it collects the water and it drips down into these uh, trenches. And our pyramid's net has a surface area about 60 square meters, which collects about 4,000 liters of water every day, or per day. And this, will, uh, this water will eventually go to nearby villages, or it could be used to grow more mycelium. Many people are aware of the ongoing plastic problem that is consuming our planet. And the problem is many people think that it's too late for them to take action. Some may use reusable water bottles, but the convenience of a single-use plastic water bottle will always add fuel to the fire. We want to provide an alternative that will not take away the convenience of a plastic water bottle, but make it more eco-friendly. As another way to get people involved, we intend to put a QR code on the bottle so people can scan it and get points for how many times they got a misty mushroom bottle instead of a plastic one. They can compare their points to friends and earn a prize. Our project will not only impact humanity, but all living organisms. By using mycelium for the bottles, we can minimize threats caused by plastic against wildlife and water and air quality by using easy, easily biodegradable material to make our bottles. In addition, our fog cach catching machine will also be able to help many people across the world by providing them with fresh, pure drinking water. With our innovations, we hope to improve the quality of life for all organisms on Earth. So to sum up our project, we're basically trying to solve two problems, the lack of clean water and plastic pollution. And our solutions are mycelium bottles, which will reduce plastic waste and fog catching pyramids made out of the bottles, which are made out of the recycled bottles, which will collect water for underprivileged communities. <laughs>